In this lecture, you're going to see the repeatable read isolation level in action. With this isolation level, our reads are going to be consistent and repeatable. Let me show you. Now, the first thing we want to do here is to commit the transaction from the last lecture. So we can come back and change the isolation level for the next transaction. Okay. So commit this. Nothing happens. That's perfectly fine. Now let's change the isolation level to repeatable read. All right, now let's execute line two. Then let's start a new transaction. We're going to read the points. So currently we have 30 points. Now, before we execute the next line, let's go to the second session and change the points for this customer to 40. So we're going to start a transaction, update the points and commit. Now back to the first session. When we execute the next line, we're going to see the same value. Take a look. We got 30, so our reads are repeatable and consistent. So this is the benefit of this isolation level. And by the way, as I told you before, this is the default isolation level in MySQL that solves most of the concurrency problems. But at this level, we have one problem, and that is phantom reads. So let's change our query to get the customers located in Virginia. Perhaps you want to give these customers a special discount. So we're going to select everything from the customers table where state equals Virginia. Now we don't really need to repeat this query. So let's delete line five. So if we execute line four, we see customer number two as the only customer who is located in Virginia. Now to start a new demo, let's commit this current transaction. All right, done. All right, now we're going to start another transaction. But before selecting the customers, let's go to the second session and set the state for customer number one to Virginia. This customer is not currently located in Virginia. So the scenario that we're simulating here is that one client tries to read the customers that are located in Virginia. And at the same time, another client is updating the data such that this customer, customer number one, should be included in this query that client number one is executing. So here in the second session, let's start a transaction, update the customers. Now we're not going to commit anything yet. This is just a pending transaction in memory. So technically this is not written to the database. So if we go back to the first session and read the customers, obviously we're only going to see customer number two. Now at this point, the second session is going to commit the changes. So now we have two customers located in Virginia, but we missed one of them, customer number one. If you read this customer again one more time in this transaction, we're going to see the same result because with repeatable read, our reads are going to be consistent. So we'll have to commit this transaction. Now, if you read these customers one more time, we can see we have two customers in Virginia, but we missed one of them. This is what we call a phantom read. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to use the serializable isolation level to solve this problem.